So I have this uh, Strat and it has uh, an issue with the jack input making crackling noises. Uh, um, so uh, I'm going to find the culprit of it and uh, see if we can fix it. I suspect that it is, has to do with the input and not the cable. But let's eliminate that it's not the cable first um, to be sure. So what happens is if I just wiggle the, uh, the jack cable, so you hear what's happening. And it's, I can't really play. Uh, play with this guitar like this it's uh, annoying of course so we have to find out what's wrong and um, uh, I suspect that it is the jack input as I said but I will eliminate that it's not just the cable it could, it could uh, sound like the cable also but let's find out so the way to do that is that I, I will um, no let's just stand by this uh, amp and um, I will take another guitar that doesn't have that problem. So let's see if we can reproduce it with this guitar. Um, so you see, it's, uh, it's there's not an issue here. It's it's uh, quiet. It's it's no problem. So that tells me that it's not the cable. Um, I can do whatever I do like with the cable. The cable is is okay. <laughs> So there's no sound from the, the jack input here. So it has to be the jack input on that guitar. It's not the cable. So let's go ahead and fix it. Okay, so there are a couple of ways you can try to fix this. Um, I've seen some guys uh, use uh, steel wool or, um, or sandpaper to clean up the contacts in this old um, uh, jack output. But... Uh, I will uh, use this instead, a multi-contact uh, output jack from Pure Tone. This has uh, several contact, it has a double contact for, uh, for the jack tip and there is also a better contact uh, that will um, be for the grounding. And um, I believe the original jack just have uh, a contact point for the grounding uh, to the barrel uh, so it's uh, more likely to, to create a problem so that's why I don't care to, to uh, try to fix the, the uh, original one I'll just replace it so I, I hopefully it will stay good for years to come so I've got my soldering iron ready I got my tools and let's uh, Get this sorted. So, start with removing these two screws, and I will put them in a secure place. I've uh, dropped them on the floor before and not being able to find them again. So, from experience, keep them in a safe place. Yes, uh, that's a way you could also stick them to your pickups if you like, because they are magnetic. So, but it's a bit of a hassle to get them out. So what you also could do if you like to try to fix your, your uh, original one is to uh, gently uh, push it like that so it, so it stays a bit more sturdy against the jack. Yeah. Um, I can show you the jack here. Is, uh, if I put it inside, you can see that it's, it's holding pretty tight and good uh, towards um, that co contact point. But the ground it's really just uh, through the uh, barrel, as I said, uh, the, the contact point for, for the grounding that is on this uh, part of the jack is, is really just uh, to, the, to the, the barrel. If it's not very snugly fit, it's, uh, it's bound to, to have a bad contact there. So I, I'm not sure it will really help with this one to, to uh, sand it or... Uh, um, and uh, anyways, I think it will be a, just a temporary fix. There. And then heating it up, adding some solder there. Come on, sorry. Um, 
That looks good. So the time has come to find out if, if this will work. Um, little tip if you don't uh, have this routine already. Um, it's not a good idea to just plug your guitar in like that. But uh, go via your uh, strap. Uh, securing it and then uh, in here because uh, if I now step on my jack uh, cable uh, it will be more secure than if it went straight out like that. Okay so I can move it around and uh, wiggle it as much as I like there's not a sound I can even uh, grab the jack uh, plug itself and, and wiggle it it's, just, uh, it's quiet. Very good result. I'm happy because uh, this guitar is great. Um, oh, so happy. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.